Hey guys, it is the Ladies of Young Church, and we are here with a very special guest, Molly Beach. Hi guys. And we're going to talk about confidence today, so we want to dive right into the Word and see what the Lord says about confidence. Alright, so we're going to read from Psalms 139. In verse 13, it says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body, and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. So that scripture talks about how Jesus made all the intricate parts of us. So I think when we're talking about the issue of confidence, it's really important to understand that our confidence can only come from our relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that um, it's very clear that no one loves us like the Lord loves us. So the closer we are with God, the more we're going to see ourselves through God, which is where our confidence comes from in the first place. Yeah. We all have insecurities, we all struggle with things, but the importance is to go to God with those insecurities and have Him help us walk it, walk us through them. Yeah. And if we didn't have insecurities, if we were completely confident on our own, then we wouldn't need Him. And that He wants us to need Him, so that's, that's why they're good for us. Yeah. Um, when we were reading that scripture, I was remembering one day uh, Jordan and I were talking, and you said, I realized it came to a point in my life where I can't fix myself. And I always remembered that, and I feel like it goes back to that scripture where we can't fix ourselves. God delicately wove us, He made us a certain way, and it's like we can't, even with our insecurities and things that we deal with, at the end of the day, we're only human, and only the Creator, the one who made us can really see all the parts that we can't see. And like Molly was saying, that coming to him, he's the one that reveals those things to you and can heal them in a way that only he knows how. Wait! Before you exit out of the screen, we want to make sure that you have the opportunity to know about the God that you just heard about. That's right. So wherever you are today, please ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and ask him to become the Lord of your life. Yeah, and let him turn your past into your story. And once he has, we want to hear about it. You can email us your video testimony at ucn.young at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks, guys. Thanks.